one data question. The data given is a moving ARM disk storage device has the following specifications. Number of tracks per recording surface 200, disk rotation speed 2400 revolutions per minute, track storage capacity 62500 bits. The question number one on this data is, what is the data transfer rate for this device? We need to find out the data transfer rate. So options given are 6150 kilobytes per second, 31.25 kilobytes per second, 312.5 kilobytes per second, D none of these. So here, in order to find out the data transfer rate, based on the revolution, we have to find out how much data you can transfer. In one revolution, one track data we can access. That means, so uh, the revolutions are, the number of revolutions are given as 2400. That means per minute, for 60 seconds, 2400 revolutions. Then for one second, it will have 40 revolutions. Okay, for one revolution, it will take 1 by 40 seconds. 1 by 40 seconds it will take for one revolution. Okay, in 1 by 40 seconds, one revolution it can make. In one revolution, the data that can be transferred is one track, that is stack storage capacity, that is 62,500. So 62,500 bits. Okay, that means in 1 by 40 seconds, these many bits, 62,500 bits. In one second, it is 62,500 into 40 bits. In the form of bytes uh, and kilobytes, if you want to find out, for bytes you have to divide it, wait, for kilobytes you have to divide it, 1000. So that these three will go, 4, 2, 8, 625 by 2. That means it will be 312.5, 312.5 kilobytes. So option C is the right option here. So there is another question on this same data. So uh, the second question is, what is the average number of sectors possible in each track when sectoral control information takes 4 bytes and data area is formatted to 256 bytes? So we need to find out the number of sectors possible in the given track. What is the size of the track? That is 62,500 bits are given. So this, these many bits are divided into how many sectors? So we need to have, first of all we need to have the number of uh, sectors possible uh, in this storage. That means this is divided by, for example, if you take a sector uh, formatted data area is 256 bytes plus a header and a trailer that is control information take 4 bytes, total it is 260, 260 bytes. 260 byte means 260 into 8. So it will be 2080. 2080 bits because the track capacity is given in bits. So the number of sectors is equal to 62,500 divided by 2080 bits for each sector. So it will be 30.04. That means only 30 sectors are possible. So 31th sector we cannot have. That's why option A is the right option here. Option A is the right option. It is a linked answer question. Consider the following input sequence 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1 and so on. The question number 1 on this data is, what will be the regular expression to accept all the prefixes of the given sequence? Option A, 0 of 1, 0 whole closure. B, 0 of 0, 1 whole closure. C, 0, 1 whole closure, 0 plus 0 1 whole closure, option D, 0 closure plus 1 0 1 whole closure. So the sequence given is 0 1 0 1 0 1 and so on. Normally the prefix is nothing but the set of all leading symbols. So for this sequence uh, the prefixes are epsilon that is null string, it is a prefix for every string and single 0, 0 1, 0 1 0, 0 1 0 1, 0 1 0 1 0 and so on. These are the prefixes. So here epsilon is the first prefix, next 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0 and so on. So to cover all these prefixes, we should have the regular expression. So now here epsilon, 
for example if you take option a in option a we cannot have zero one string because zero one prefix but we cannot generate zero one from option a from option b we cannot generate this is accepting zero zero one because zero followed by one instance of zero one is zero zero one no zero zero one is prefix in the given sequence so option b is also wrong we can uh, divide them into two groups one is even length other is odd length the even length strings are prefix are epsilon 0 1 0 1 0 1 and so on this is nothing but 0 or more instances of 0 1 it can be written as 0 1 whole closure odd length strings are prefixes 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 1 0 and so on that means 0 is must before that we can have 0 or more combination of zeros 0 1 0 1 it can be written as 0 1 whole star 0 so either this or this is possible that means 0 1 whole closure 0 1 whole closure 0 so option c is equivalent to this option d is wrong because we cannot have a 1 0 1 prefix but 1 0 1 is generated from this regular expression so option c is the right option here and uh, there is another question on this data so the linked question for this is how many minimum number of states required in a DFA for accepting the correct regular expression above? So uh, we got a correct regular expression as 0 1 whole star 0 or 0 1 whole star. We got option C as a correct option in the previous problem. So based on this uh, we need to find out the number of uh, states required, minimum number of states required in the deterministic finite automata. So what are the strings possible here? Epsilon. 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1 and so on. These are the strings possible. If epsilon is the minimum string then starting state must be final. Next we have to accept single zero. For accepting single zero if you give self loop it will accept any number of zeros that is not there in this prefixes. So single zero we have to send to another state which is also final because single zero must be accepted. Next we have to accept zero one. So 0, if you 1 is given as a self loop, it will accept 0, 1, 1, 1. That is not possible. So 1, you come back to the state Q0. So that epsilon accepted, single 0 accepted, 0, 1 accepted, again 0, 1, 0 accepted, and so on. All the prefixes. That means all the strings of this expression and this expression are accepted. Then uh, in a DFA, we should have the transitions for every input for all the states. So Q0, 0 is there. 1 will be sending to dead state. Q10 will be sending to dead state. Dead on 0 and 1 will be dead. So we require to have 3 states. We have to count the dead state also. So the total number of states required will be 3 states minimum. Option A is the right option.